Hi, this is Natasha Lara Lewis with Esther's Place, and today I'll be showing you how to create a felted bookmark. We're doing this fun spring garden bookmark, and this is a great wet felting project that's really easy to do. It's great for younger age groups, as well as anybody who wants to have a little fun with felting and design a nice abstract garden. Now I will show you a couple other ideas for bookmarks. You can do a simple white background with some colors. And this one is a really fun one to kind of talk about color blending and color theory. And then you can also do something kind of a little wild. This one is a cute little zebra and it's got a little zebra print on both sides and it's got a little zebra tail. So these are just a couple of fun ideas that you can do in addition to the spring garden one. Now a few supplies that we'll need before we get started. You want to have a towel down on your table and this towel doesn't go over the edge of the table. You want it to stay up on the table so that way it doesn't pull water down into your lap. You want a piece of bubble wrap as well. Let's just put our little sample guy over here. <clears throat> You'll also want a little bit of water. So here we've got our water. It is a little bit of like lukewarm water and it's got a little soap in it. Now I'm using Eucalan, which is this wonderful soap here, and it's a no rinse soap, so we don't have to worry about rinsing it later, but you can use just about any soap. I just put a little, little glob of soap in there, kind of stir it up. The goal is to make the water feel a little soapy and slippery and slimy. You don't really need suds. The soap's already in there, so you're good there. All right, and then we need our fibers. So I'll go through our different fibers, and then we'll kind of go from there. So we've got two pieces for our base. We have a little bit of green and we have a piece of blue here for our base. We have a whole bunch of fun embellishment fibers. We've got some of the fibers for flowers. And for leaves, we've got some curlies for texture. We've got some bamboo some sparkles, some silk threads, and some of these little felted bits called neps for texture. We've also got some pre-felt. So this here is a halfway felted fabric that we're just gonna cut into little pieces for some more textured leaves in there. And we'll just add that to our pile. And we've also got a pair of scissors. So those are our supplies and now we're about ready to get started. Okay, for design, we are going to design our bookmark with our little bookmark on one side here of the bubble wrap. So like a book, we can close this up later. So let's open up the cover. Our bubbles are facing us here. The bubbles are up and we've got our little bookmark right here ready to go. So let's go ahead and start by wetting it down. We're gonna take our hand like a high five, put it down here, and you're gonna pour the water and then mush it in. Pour and mush, pour and mush, pour and mush. Go ahead and just mush that all in. Just use your fingertips here and mush the fibers down. And now it's nice and flat. And we're gonna take and we're gonna just kind of tuck the fibers. So let's just go around the edges and just kind of tuck these in. We want a nice little rectangular shape here and I'm just tucking it just kind of tidy it all up and kind of tuck tuck those edges in like that okay now we're ready to start planning our garden now you'll also have a hand towel so you can go ahead and just get your hands nice and dry for some of these next steps sometimes I'll even just wave my hands a little bit to make sure they're plenty dry so we're gonna start out with the little grasses here and then we'll move into the flowers. So we're gonna start out with our little curlies and sometimes they're too long. I'm gonna cut them and just add some little curly bits in here. These are actually curls from a curly sheep called the Lincoln, oh, I'm sorry, Lincoln or Wensleydale sheep. They are naturally curly. So that's just the way their wool comes out. It gives us texture in the finished piece. You can also use little bits of yarn in here. So let's take a little bit of our yarn here and we can add some little bits of yarn 
in here for some texture as well. So now we have the start of some stems. We're also going to take and put in some of our little pre-felt stems as well. And these are going to stand up a little bit more on the surface and we're going to wet that down. So let's go ahead and just pour some water and wet this down. Mush, mush, mush it all in. Okay. Water is our friend. It takes about eight times the weight in water um, the wool will absorb. So it really can take a lot of water. Okay, so now that it's wet, it's flat, we're going to add some cool little bits on top. So I've got some more green. And we're just going to take and pull these into little tiny bits and we're going to just kind of lay these on top for some extra color, kind of blend things together. So there we go. Now let's do some dark stuff. I'm going to put my dark down here at the bottom like that. And you can tap it in with your fingers. Just use your fingertips to tap that in. So we've got a nice little nice little garden going and make sure you've got a little wool helping the curly fibers stay down. Those curly fibers don't like to stick on their own so having a little a little fiber on top helps them to stick nicely. Okay so there we go we've got our grass laid out. All the while we want to you know tuck those fibers in gather them nicely. Beautiful. So we're going to add all of our fun stuff up here for our flowers. So before I do that, I'm going to take these sparkles and silk thread. These sparkles, I'm just going to kind of put in my sky. And then I'm going to take my silk threads and just kind of lay those out as well. Those are fun. And I'm going to take the bamboo next. Now the bamboo, we want to make sure our hands are very dry. So I'm going to just take and get my hands nice and dry before working with that bamboo. And I'm going to take and pull it out and then just drop it down. You don't even want to touch the surface here. I'm just going to pull it out and drop it down. So I've just got this shiny bamboo on top here. And next I'm going to take and water that down. Now the bamboo, you don't want to touch it when it's wet. So we're going to hold our hand like a cloud up above here. We're going to just water it gently. And do you see how quickly it dampens down? We're just going to water that a little bit and then use your fingertips like you're typing. And we're just going to take and just do, 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 tap that down. And you can even see already how much the bamboo has changed. I really love this stuff. It just adds such great texture and shininess to your piece. All right, we're going to do our little flowers. So we're going to take a little bit of the fiber here. And we're going to just wrap it around your fingers into a circle. We're going to take that circle and put it on there. And then how about a few of these little guys in the middle? All right, so there we go. And we're going to do different sized ones. So just some different little, little doodads there. All right, and we can even blend the colors together. Say we want to blend these two colors, just mix them. We stack and pull. And that's a really nice blend. And you want to tuck these little naps in there so that the fiber will kind of help to hold them down. Tuck them down in there. All right. There's one little guy there. And another little one up here. You can have as much fun as you want designing your little garden here. All right, and I might take a little extra bamboo, make sure your hands are really dry, and just kind of make a little circle for some of my flowers. You can have fun with it, whatever you like. Anything goes. I'll just highlight a couple of these with a little pop of that color. Okay, maybe a few little guys in here. And a few in there. So there's our garden. We're going to go ahead and wet this down and get ready for the next step. So wet it down with your hand up over so we get that bamboo wetted down. And tap it. Alright, 
So look at how much our color has changed. It's really almost hard to even see our colors anymore. So tap that down. And then we're gonna tidy up our edges. And next comes our agitation. We're gonna fold this over like a book, gently press this in, and next flip it over. Put your hand on top and just flip it to the other side. Let's open it up and tuck again on the other side here. Just tuck those fibers and cover it back up. Next, we're gonna take and rub for a couple minutes. Put water on top of the surface and very gently rub. Your hand is sliding and it's not moving the wool at all. We're gonna do this for about two minutes on one side and then we're gonna flip it over and we'll do it two minutes on the other side. Now, as you're doing this, you might be wondering what is going on? The wool fibers are getting tangled together with the soap and the water and the bubble wrap and it is all turning into felt. So these little fluffy fibers are catching on one another and it's turning it into felt. So go ahead and just very gently rub and we're rubbing the back of it, not the side that we've put our pretty garden on because we wanna make sure that nothing shifts and moves on us. And this is a good way to help it to all stay pretty nice and solid. And the bubble wrap, you might be wondering why the bubble wrap. The bubble wrap captures and holds the water and soap in there like tiny little washing machines. So it's really doing a great job of catching the fibers together on one another and forming felt. Felt is one of the oldest forms of fabric making and it is really an amazing miracle to watch it happen. So the wool is getting tighter and stronger and kind of knit together as we're forcing those fibers to catch on one another. All right, so I am putting a little bit of pressure on, but you'll notice my hand is sliding, not the wool underneath here, and that's the important part. So let's go ahead and take this and flip it back over to the other side. Put your hand on top, flip, and we're gonna just check our sides here, go ahead and just tap, 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 tap all around. It's looking good, nothing's moved too much. And put that back over. And we're gonna do a couple minutes on this side. A little water on top helps your hands to slide and glide. That's the goal. So nice and gentle, back and forth, up and down. When I'm working with kids, sometimes what I like to do is make a game out of it and do something like Simon Says, and then they can copy your hand movements. And it's kind of a fun way to make everybody get involved and make the time pass a little bit quicker. So you can go different directions as you're rubbing this. Just make sure that your hand is rubbing and that the fiber is not actually getting rubbed or disturbed underneath there. Okay, just a couple more minutes. You can change hands. If you feel it's not sliding so much, add some more water to it. And then we will move on to the rolling stage. Okay. So let's check and see what we're looking for. So at this point, if we lift this off, we should be able to kind of brush our fingers over and things should feel pretty solid. Like they should feel like they're kind of staying. That's a great sign. So we're ready for the next step, which is rolling. So we have four sides to our rectangle, right? We're gonna be rolling from each side. So let's start here with the one closest to us. Roll that up. Now I'm just gonna take my extra little towel here. You thought that was for your hands, nope. We're gonna roll it up in there. <clears throat> All right, so roll. And next we're gonna roll back and forth lightly for about a minute. So just lightly roll back and forth. And this is going to 
help the fibers to get more sturdy and more solid. Okay, having a towel helps to give you a little grip. So there we have it. That's about a minute. We're going to undo it and go ahead and open it up. At this point, it might be a little wonky. Don't worry, it's gotten a little distorted. We're just going to take and stretch that back out. I got a few little guys wandering my little, my little neps. These can sometimes be bothersome. Sometimes they don't want to stick in. We might put a little extra wool on top of it to help it to stay. Just the thin little gauze of wool there. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna close this back up and next we turn it to a long side. And we're gonna just repeat the same process all over again. So we'll do this on all four sides till we've rolled it completely around all the sides. Okay, so here we are after rolling it on all four sides. Definitely has shrunk up. We're gonna do a little shaping. So next, I'm gonna take and find a dry corner of my towel, and I'm just gonna dab that soap out. Now, because we use the no-rinse soap, we don't have to worry about rinsing it, but at this stage, I would rinse it in some cold water if you're using normal soap. So let's just dab out some of the water. We can begin to see everything a little better, and we're just gonna do a little shaping. Now, I would encourage you to get these out of the way here. Just roll that up. I would encourage you to stretch it as much as you can instead of cutting. So let's see what we can do to stretch this out. So while it's still damp, we can stretch it quite a bit. Look at that. And just kind of flatten it with your fingers. Now I do like the organic edges, especially where we have these little flowers. So hey, I'm gonna keep that. But if there's something you just can't live with, then we can simply trim it off. So let's go ahead. There's a little more stretching. And I don't like this little tail here. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and then I'm just gonna rub that where I cut it to help to kind of heal that over. So roll that up. I like to do that on the towel. Let's get our towel back for a minute. So anywhere that you've cut, just go ahead and use the rolling to help smooth that out. All right, I'm going to lengthen it. It is so moldable and pliable when it's wet. You can really take and shape it and do all kinds of crazy things with it. So don't be afraid. All right, so let's pull that up a little bit. So last, we're going to take and put in our little string and let it dry looking good okay so we're going to take and do a snip a little bit down from the top here i'm going to fold my fabric and make the tiniest of snips very very small here and we're going to feed our yarn through so i'm going to just double my yarn take that loop here and push it through the little snip that i made there we go and then put your ends through Oop. and pull that like that you can trim your ends a little bit when you're done there you go so every bookmark you make is going to have its own unique character so look at that we've got a crazy garden over here and we've got a little more tame garden over here so there you have it a wonderful small project that you can do with a variety of age groups and skill levels. Really fun, very, very experimental to try all those different kinds of fibers. Let's just take a, a closer look here at some of the different types of fibers. You have your nips, you have your bamboo, you have your sparkle back there, 
You have some silk threads peeking through the pre-felts, which hold their shape. You even hear some yarn, the curlies, everything is just added in there for some wonderful texture. So thanks for joining me, Natasha Lara Lewis from Esther's Place, on making your felted bookmark. Happy felting! Bye!